Hi, I'm Lane. I'm with Liberty Oilfield Services, and I'm going to show you in three experiments how fractures start to grow, or what we call initiate. And I'm going to show you that initially with a banana. Frackers open bananas in a different way than other, other people in general. And uh, so if you would open a banana in this way, or that way, or this way, or this way become very messy and uh, you don't really control the process making it very hard for you to reach uh, a peeled banana kind of in, a, in, a, in one piece. So instead of doing that we can actually create a cut or pre-cut inside the top of the banana here and with that we create a very controlled experiment to open that banana making it easy to really peel that banana. That's how a fracker peels a banana. We can, uh, we can also try and tear a piece of paper apart or frack a piece of paper. And it's actually surprising to see when you tear paper apart how strong the material is. This also applies to rock. When you're trying to break rock in tension or by pulling on a piece of rock, it's just extremely hard to pull or to pull that piece of paper apart or to pull the rock apart or start fracking. Yeah? It's actually extremely strong in that direction. It yeah? becomes a little different if you put a pre-cut in that piece of paper. And I've done that here already beforehand. A little pre-cut in the piece of paper and now it becomes actually much much easier to tear that piece of paper apart. Yeah? You can actually see typically if I do this in a more controlled environment, in this little experimental setup that I had, you can actually see that fractures have a tendency to grow what we call perpendicular to the least principal stress or perpendicular to the uh, orientation uh, in which I uh, applied a pulling force. So I've done that here in a more controlled environment where we can apply kind of uniform pulling force over the entire piece of paper and if you pull that piece of paper apart you can see that even though this cut was at some specific orientation that the fracture that we're creating from that uh, pre-cut now actually grows in a very different orientation and indeed perpendicular to the direction in, we, in which we pull that piece of paper apart. Yeah? That's how fractures grow. Now, we can take this one step further to show you what happens in a horizontal well. In a horizontal well, when we're breaking rock, when we're fracking rock, we cannot apply an external force on the outer edges of the earth and pull that apart and hope that it fracks somewhere. Instead, when we hydraulically frack rock, we actually apply a pulling power from within the fracture, within the, the, the flaw that was made in the rock beforehand. And we do that by applying a hydraulic pressure inside a fracture. Yeah? So instead of applying from the outside, applying a force, we're applying an inside force and we do that with water pressure. And we pressurize this water or hydraulic fracturing fluid, we pressurize it with uh, pump trucks. All right, how do we do that? So I'll show you that in, an, in the third experiment. What we need for that third experiment is an inner tube for a bike paper towel holder and I'm actually gonna place the, um, the bike tube inside the paper towel holder and then secure it with some duct tape so that I get um, a concoction that looks something like this here. Now this represents my horizontal well, yeah? a section of a long horizontal well that we're gonna frack. And similar to the piece of paper I showed you before, there's a pre-cut that I put in the paper towel holder right here. Yeah? Um, the bike tube is inside and now we're going to pressurize this from the inside. Just like we pressurize a horizontal well with water and then start fracking that horizontal well from a perforation. A pre-cut that we make in the rock using a perforation. Um, so I'll connect this to the bike pump. Yeah, so right now there's no, no pressure on, on the inside of the, of, the, uh, of the bike tube and no pressure on the paper towel holder. We're slowly applying pressure now. 
Um, you can see here, um, maybe put now about 5 psi on the tube. And you can actually see it bulges already a little bit, maybe 15 psi on there right now. If we keep pumping, adding air pressure, you will see eventually how the flaw in the paper towel will break. Like that. That's how we frack here at Liberty Oilfield Services. If you want to know more about fracking in general, go visit our website, libertyfrack.com. Thank you for your attention.